As I'm making this video, it is Friday, March 13th, and we live in uncertain times. Uncertainty is also the time for the biggest drivers of growth, and in every change, there is opportunity. And if you are an entrepreneur, you know that every single time there is upheaval and change and uncertainty in the world, that's when your entrepreneurial spirit needs to kick in. Look, there are two kinds of people in the world. Those who panic and give in to fear mongering and think the worst. And then there are those who educate themselves, get well informed, and then uh, make their mission to educate other people as well. So the latter are the action takers. And I want you to be an action taker today. And if you've decided that you want to be an action taker and learn how you can contribute to the world in uncertain times, then this video is for you. Now more than ever is the right time to build your personal brand so that you can afford yourself opportunities and you can give other people opportunities. And the first thing you need to do is to build your audience so people are there to listen to your advice. Now I believe that YouTube is still the best platform in 2020 to build your audience on. It is not too late and here is why. When you teach yourself YouTube marketing, you are teaching yourself an essential online skill with massive reach. Now, you know right now that it is being advised that you practice social distancing, which means that a lot of activities are transitioning to the online world. Now, imagine if you have the skills to deal with those opportunities and you can teach them to others as well. That is a huge, huge area of growth happening right now. So when you, you're limiting your need to connect with people, you can still do virtual connections, you can still do online connections. And yes, text is a great way to get major points across and audio is a great way, but nothing is as personal as video is. So the, the best way is if you cannot actually have physical in-person contact, the best way is video to still get that connection. A lot of people are facing social anxiety. They are feeling isolation. They're overwhelmed. So video is a way that you can reach out and connect with people. You must learn to practice your video skills. You must learn to get confident on camera. And that is a skill that you can start to develop today, right now, whether it's just video chatting with people or making YouTube videos. Either way, getting comfortable on camera and getting online is an essential skill for 2020 and going forward. Video carries instant authority and credibility. Now you can argue this point with me all you want <laughs> if you want to, but in the realm of creating content, a blog post is just not as impassioned as a video is. You can convey so much more emotion and in a video, and therefore you can convey a lot more of your feelings. You can convey a lot more authority. And just when people hear that you have a YouTube channel on you know, XYZ subject, they give you a lot more credibility. I have seen this across the board, across industries, across clients. When people tell other people they have a video, they have a YouTube channel on a specific topic, it just ups their credibility factor right there and then. Yes, there is opportunity in every niche. So if you are thinking that your niche is stable or dead or not growing, or there's nothing new you can do in it, let me give you a different perspective to think about. I made a video, uh, I made two videos. I'm going to put, put them up here, both of them up here and also in the info card about growing YouTube niches and which are exploding topics and, and which are, you know, topics that are spiraling downwards and not interesting anymore. But here's the real truth. Any topic can be interesting and on trend today, because look at it this way, new things, new opportunities, new topics are coming up every single day, which means an opportunity to add your perspective to whatever you're already doing. So consider this, online schooling is becoming a trend. If, in, if education is your area, that's something that you could be talking about. In the field of health, obviously there are all sorts of changes taking place. People are stockpiling um, you know, things uh, and, and they're stocking up on inventory. So maybe you could be making videos and educating people about how to pack for essentials, what kind of essentials they need to stock up on, right? So it's not about inducing panic, it's about making informed decisions and telling people how to manage their lives in uncertain times. Take the area of hygiene, for example. And there are so many opportunities for making content around how to stay infection free or how to, Im how to boost your immune system or how to take care of compromised people. So there are so many new areas that you could be diving into with your knowledge. 
or take the remote work niche, for example. I saw a brilliant video the other day about how to uh, use a Zoom conference call with a messy background. So if you have a messy background, you can actually use a feature in Zoom called virtual backgrounds and do a call without people seeing your messy house, right? So those are the kind of opportunities available. And I saw another Twitter thread, which was talking all about how, you know, um, people don't know the right etiquette for dressing for online calls. And some people just appear shirtless on their videos without realizing that their video is on. But regardless, you need to figure out, okay, if you're in the remote work niche, or if you're in the stay at, stay at home work niche, or if you're about the freedom lifestyle, or any of that, or working from home, or, you know, ditching the nine to five, then what are the topics that you should be talking about right now? Because it's all about adding value to the conversations that are taking place. There's a whole new market that's going to be wanting to know information about these topics right now. And you are possibly primed to give that expert opinion. So why not go ahead and add value to the lives and to new topics that are emerging inside your field? There is space for different personalities and different opinions. Now, YouTube is very different from TV in that you are free to express yourself. The weirder, the better, I say, right? So no matter where you are in the world and no matter how you come across on camera, you have a voice and you have a voice that needs to be heard. You have opinions, you have ideas to contribute. You can help. You need to see yourself as somebody who is going to become a valuable contributor to the voice and to the things that are taking place in the world right now. So no matter where you are in the world, go ahead, bring your personality forth and contribute. You can become a triple threat with YouTube. Literally no other platform offers you the chance to dominate search results, develop a community around your brand and have an evergreen content repository available for anybody to look at your backlog of content. No other platform right now offers this capability. YouTube is actually a triple threat platform. And while I'm all about using the platform, I'm also all about now putting your eggs in one basket. So I would recommend that use YouTube initially to build that audience, build that platform, and then also leverage YouTube to build your connection one-to-one -one with your audience. So your email list, your website, build all of those assets off of YouTube. Use YouTube as your launch pad. Now, I know it can be overwhelming at first, which is precisely why I've put together a masterclass on how to get started with YouTube and get the most value and leverage the platform to build your personal brand. You can access it from the link in the description. It's salmajafri.com forward slash subscribe. And once you watch that, I'll also show you the next steps to building your business, leveraging YouTube and leveraging the platform. Remember, there is opportunity in change. For more uplifting, practical advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so you're notified when I make new videos. And also, I want to hear from you. Tell me what opportunities have you identified in your niche that you could be using to build your business and your brand and helping the people around you right now. Tell me in the comments below.